<laughs> I didn't see you there. My name is Ian Andrusak, and today I'm going to be your man on the street. Or I guess today you're geek on the street, because we're going to the Marcus Theater to see what Hastings residents think about the new Spider-Man movie. But first, I gotta go get suited up. Ah, that is much better. Oh, and look at that. Looks like my ride's here. Let's get going. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, I hate portals. Oh. Not the most elegant entrance, but let's get started. So which movie are you seeing tonight? Uh, we are seeing the new Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Uh, we're going to see Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Sure enough, people started lining up in the lobby, and it was time to start asking people about the world-famous Web Swinger. All the Spider-Men that we've seen over like the past 20 years, McGuire, Garfield, Holland, which one has been your favorite? Tobey Maguire. That's because you grow up on the original, you're used to the original. Definitely. Uh... Tom Holland. Miles Morales. Tobey Maguire. Uh, Tom Holland, definitely. It, it has a lot to do with the graphics and new kind of movies that they've made, but uh, he does play a really good Spider-Man. If you had Spider-Man's powers, what building would be the one that you climbed first? The Eiffel Tower. I was going with that too. Mm. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? That's yeah, a good probably choice. the Eiffel Tower. Looks like the Eiffel Tower is unanimous. Can't say I don't agree. If you could pick any one of Spider-Man's powers or gadgets, which one would you pick and why? Uh, I think for me that would have to be uh, the ability to climb on walls. Like, <laughs> traffic would no longer be a problem for oh. me. And for you? Uh, this web shooter thing. The spider senses. <laughs> web slingers. The web slingers, probably because they're the most useful. I could just be on the couch and be like... Of all the Spider-Man villains, which one would you say you'd want to be? Dr. Octopus. Jamie Foxx. That bl the black one with like the arms on the back, that was pretty cool. Oh, Dr. Octopus? Yep. Yeah, That's good awesome. choice. I, I would say Green Goblin because he's been more technologically advanced. Green Goblin. That's a good one. I'm going Doc Ock. I have no idea. Yeah, no, it's fair enough. <laughs> and here we have our Sinister Six. A little different from the usual lineup, but it'll do. This is a pretty big movie. How have you mentally prepared yourself for this? I have not at all. I'm not ready for this movie at all. And then my last question is, you're clearly all you know dressed up with the Marvel stuff, but where's your Spider-Man costume? Uh, I do not have one. It's, it's one I need, though. And I guess just one more question. Where's your costume at? Uh, decided not to dress up. Decided more for the uh, comfort look with the weather, so no, I decided I to dress like a little outside. bit. After asking my final question, it was time to leave the theater and end our spider-themed adventure. Man, that was a great movie. And I think that we're just about wrapped up with what we're doing here today, so... Oh, crap. I totally forgot to get a picture for the bugle. Can you, can you get a picture for me really quick? All right, yeah, I gotta go. that Spider-Man. There you have it, folks. Definitive proof that the Spider-Man is now in Hastings. Be sure to stay tuned for more Man on the Streets so that we can catch that web-headed menace. Ah. This has been J. Jonah Jameson for the Daily Bugle. <sighs> Wait a minute. If there's a Spider-Man in Hastings, and a Spider-Man in New York, what if there's more than one Spider-Man? Oh no, I was not ready for this this morning. Jimmy, give me more coffee!